So I'm Greg McIver, uh, contributing editor at Light Reading, and I'm very pleased to be with Peter Hu, vice president of ZTE. And I'd like to start off by asking you, Peter, what are the wired products and solutions that ZTE has been bringing to uh, MWC Barcelona uh, this year? Okay. Uh, thank you. So, hello, everyone. So, ZTE now on this one is a focus on the optical networks and can be used in several typical scenarios, actually. So in the optical city scenarios, it brings the industry sort of for the T-bit or optical access platform, say 600 E. Yeah. So it can be provide one T bandwidth per slot and the highest in the industry. It also provides the deterministic openings and green features. It also supports the smooth migration from the g -pong to 10 g -pong. And ultimately, it's the 50 g -pong. The night ODN solution enables the rapid and flexible end-to-end -end ODN constructions, greatly decreasing network construction time, achieving intelligent and uh, visual management and ODM, which can reduce the labor cost. In the optic home scenarios, it brings the trigger gigabit solutions, build a high quality home networks, providing the ultimate the ultra gigabit experience to subscribers and helping operators expand their smart home services. The Wi-Fi 7 home gateway has achieved a speed measurement over the 14 gigabit. This is also the highest speed in the world. And the FTDR solution is uh, applicable to scenarios, enterprise, and home scenarios. The panel type the apps and the selling the mountain apps, flexible, adapted to diverse department environment, reducing time to market, and the integrated management platform, SCP, allows for visual management, remote optimization, and proactive the ODM of the whole Wi-Fi networks. So effectively help the operators to upgrade their whole broadband quality, improving home network experience, increasing the revenue and saving the expenditures. In addition, ZT brought the IP sandbox solutions, which can support the developing of the 4K, ATV, Netflix, and other video services of the operators in the four directions, connection plus, ecosystem plus, and experience plus and service plus. So in terms of the optical instruction of the industry leading the single wavelength TBH OTN technologies, it is provide all scenarios OTN solution to consolidate the strong optical foundations and help you to the new optical networks in the digital year. Expander 2023, ZT released the industry first 800G plugable solutions, achieving the high performance, easy to maintenance, and growing the 800G network. So, meanwhile, ZT achieved the most research on the single wave NAS 1.6 Terra and uh, ultra wide spectral technologies to support all optical notch capacity data center. Interconnect by far ZT has completed world's first T level real time optical systems verification based on the S plus C plus R. So that is all the highlights of the on the ZT booth. And ZT has been going through some very interesting times lately. What would you describe as your main achievements uh, in the recent past? Yeah. So in CP fields, both of the ZT Power and DSL CP shipments had ranked uh, number one in the world. And based on the data group, Wi-Fi 7 CPs were first win commercial orders from the number of the countries, including Spain, Japan, and some countries of this. Yeah. So and uh, we also deployed some of the video service, uh, such as 4K. HV and Netflix. So in optical access field, ZTS FT2X market share top direct number two industry. The 50 g has been tested and tried by more than 30 operators worldwide. And Tangible and Animal has commercially 
department in several countries, including uh, Spain, Italy, and uh, the Philippines. So it has been cooperated with more than 60 operators worldwide to cover over the 30 million users and implement over the 100 Turkey project. Um, so the optical access platform Titan has been with the highest leading FTTP rating from the global data from the three consecutive years. So in the optical transmission field, ZD has uh, surveyed more than 100 countries and around the world to build uh, 600 beyond the 100G and 100G. So ZD OTM flagship uh, product has been rated as a leader by the independent industries and statistics from the global data for eight consecutive years. It was uh, mentioned that ZT together with the Twixier has achieved the world record in the 800 that we have the finished in the February of this year. Yeah. So I think this will be over the 2,000 kilometers. We think that is also the longest distance in the world. So that's all of this, the highlights of this city. And so yeah. what do you see as the, the main trends and drivers in all optical networks? And how are these going to affect our everyday lives? Okay, so that is uh, quite good questions. And uh, in the recent years, the dual gigabit networks, which are represented by the 5G and the gigabit optical networks, have to emerged as the essential components and the foundation grounds for the digital life. At present, gigabit optical network has been at the stage of the large scale of the deployment, the rapid deployment, and have been the applied to homes, enterprise, and factories. So, and on the people of these lives, many cities in China will have to implement the 10G service by using the 50G pump. It is expected that the construction of the 10G optical networks will be accelerated after 2025. The telecommunication structure is moving from the gigabit optical networks to 10G optical networks. The optical networks has only improved the benefits, but also reduced the latency and uh, the tenfold of the improved reliability by the tenfold. Bring the new domestic and automated experiments to the various industries. With the accelerated deployment of the 10G optical networks, promoting application scenarios such as arch hand definition video, access the metaverse, universal medical care, artificial intelligence, and, in, and uh, digital cities will be emerged, deeply empowering the thousands of the industries. As we enter optical 10G era, users can experience service like the Lake the Eye Treaty. So this is also very hot topics. And uh, it will be in the video conference we are, will see the three dimensions and uh, life like the, some the images, such as the flat and uh, practice. And uh, it will be have the VR to simulate the learned uh, contracts. So uh, this side, uh, tourist attractives uh, combines the virtual and the real world, creating an immersive interactive experience. So, as the pioneer in the optical network technology, ZTE will be continue to involve in the domestic rate improvement and uh, diverse services ecological, promoting the constructions of the wide optical values networks and building an efficiency digital foundation for the digital economy. It uh, will be response to the domestic bandwidth upgrade to home field the upgrading from the Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 7. The optical accelerated field is migrated from the g to 10 g and automated to the 50 g It will be optical transport field upgrade from 400G to T-bit with the transmission medium upgrade to the holocore fibers. Opportunity for the diversity of services, they use X 
optic networks to support all optical cities and industry scenarios. Among them, FTTR plus X is the mode of the future commercial such as. It will be broadband the smart home ROT products such as camera, smart door lockers, and smart screens based on the all optical FTTR. And the development towards the scenario oriented ecological and digital directions. So that's it. We think that it will be uh, the change in the 2024 and it will be evolution to the futures. Peter yeah. Hu, Vice President of ZTE, thank you so much for your time and for sharing your thoughts with us. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.